Tulsa and head coach Philip Montgomery. Uh, Tulsa is 1-2. and two. Uh, The Golden Hurricane faced Arkansas State Saturday night. Arkansas State won the game 29-20. to uh, Tulsa's back in action with a short week this Thursday at Temple. The game will be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, 6.30 Central, and will be televised on ESPN. Uh, Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. If you would take a minute to tie up the game against Arkansas State, uh, what you expect to see with the short turnaround and the road trip to Philadelphia, please. Yeah, it is a short week, but uh, finishing up last week's game, you know, just in 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 uh, inconsistent uh, throughout the game, especially offensively, turn the ball over four times. Uh, you know, things like this are going to occur, and and uh, we showed signs and flashes of the team. I think we can be. Uh, we've got to be able to put it together for four quarters, and we haven't we haven't really done that this year. So uh, that's kind of our challenge right now is is to get that part of it done. Take nothing away. Arkansas State's a, a very well coached team, good team that uh, very talented, and uh, came in here and did a nice job. Uh, but I think it's got to be more about us and uh, the consistency that we play with, and uh, putting it all together in all three phases for four quarters. Knowing we got a really short week. Um, obviously uh, practiced early this morning, and then uh, we'll get one in tomorrow, and then we're back on the road uh, traveling up there to, to get ready for Temple, who's coming off a, an exceptional, a, a huge win. You know, beating Maryland uh, shows a lot about our conference and, uh, you know, what our conference is bringing to the table. We know we got our hands full. Uh, they're very talented, very well coached. And uh, we're going to go out, have to go up there and play extremely well. Any questions for Coach Philip Montgomery, please? Star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue, then the operator will introduce you. We'll take our next question for Mark Narducci from Philadelphia Inquirer and Daily News. Please go ahead. Your line is now open. Hey, Coach. Um, when you saw that Temple tape of, of Maryland, what, what kind of impressed you the most about the Owls? Well, I think just the way they're flying around. I mean, they're playing with a lot of confidence on, on in all three phases. Um, defensively, you know, we, we played Texas the, the week before who obviously faced Maryland. And so uh, we, we got to see them on tape from that week and then obviously now watching the tape versus Temple. And so uh, I thought defensively they did an outstanding job, uh, continued to give themselves opportunities, and they've, they've created – uh, ways to win. I mean, whether it be in special teams, on defense, on offense, uh, they're able to generate points. And so we know we got to do a good job of taking care of the football. Uh, we've got to play great defense and, and be aware of what we're doing on special teams. Can I ask you about your quarterback? He's, he's kind of a young guy. You're, you're trying to play a, a fast uh, tempo. What, where would you say he is right now? You know, I think he's growing every game. I mean, uh, had some mistakes, obviously, last week, um, but threw the ball much better, I thought, throughout the game. Uh, been able to, to make those throws down the field and do the things that we want to do. Uh, yeah, he's young. He's still green, uh, but I think he's he's learning every game, uh, gaining confidence every game, and, and learning how, you know, to make the offense work for him. And uh, it's a process that you got to go through. It's always tough with younger quarterbacks. Uh, but I think he is uh, he's growing at a good rate. We all want people to, to uh, do that faster, um, but he is uh, he's progressing each week. Hey, thank you. Thank you. We'll take our next call from Dan Tortora from wakeupcalldt.com. Please go ahead. Your line is open. Good morning, Coach. How are you? I'm good, Dan. How are you? Good. To uh, just kind of look at Luke Skipper's play, through the first portion of the season so far, just what you can say about your takeaways about Luke so far and just what you've seen from him. Well, like I, like I just said, I think he's progressing every week. Obviously, you got to eliminate the uh, the mistakes and the turnovers. That, that's been uh, the biggest key. Uh, some of those are a little bit out of his control. Some of them were his control. So uh, we got to do a better job of that, and we got to do a better job of of him working in the framework of, of what we're doing and, and allowing him to take advantage of what defenses are given to us. Um, I think we're still growing uh, with him, but I think we're progressing at a good rate, and uh, we're, we got to continue to uh, uh, keep that process going. He had a great workout this morning, 
Uh, I've seen what I think he can do. I've seen uh, flashes of it during games. I've seen it more consistent uh, on the practice field, and now it's just translating what we're doing out there to game time and uh, putting it all together for four quarters. And then with some of the guys defensively, uh, Gibson and Reeves and whatnot, and as well as Lamp, are, are there pieces on this defense that you can take positively despite the last couple losses that you've seen so far? Yeah, I think our defense has played really well the last, uh, really all year. Uh, the first three games, uh, done a good job of creating some turnovers, even though we didn't do that last, last week. Uh, but I think our defense overall has played extremely well. We've got to uh, do a good job as a team of uh, feeding off of each other, helping each other. Uh, but I've been very pleased with our defense. We're, we're young at some spots, um, but our, our older guys have done a good job of leading, and, and I think we're continuing to grow over there. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate your time. Thanks, Dan. We'll take our next question from C. Austin Cox from AAC Daily. Please go ahead. Your line is now open. Hey, Coach. Uh, You know, you've been here in the American since 2015. Looking at this league now, it feels like schools here in the AAC are able to compete with any other power conference program. Tulsa showed that to some extent. I got the Longhorns down there in DKR. Temple's, of course, coming off that win over Maryland. What's your opinion of this league as you've come to know it better over the years and its claim as a power six? Well, I I think it's a legitimate claim. I think uh, anytime you look at it, and especially just – just look at who we're playing and having success with, and it's not this just this year. Uh, it's been over the course of years. Um, every year it's gotten more and more prominent. Um, I think uh, teams in our conference, they're, they're extremely talented. We've got great coaches in our conference. Every week you better, better strap up and get ready to play because uh, you're going you're gonna to need it. Um, again, I think the way we've scheduled – uh, throughout the years here is being really looked at and promoted and also understanding what we're doing against those teams. And, and I think one thing to note, most of the time, uh, these wins versus these other Power Six schools, most of those are happening on their home home court, home field. So, you know, you take that factor into it, uh, it, it creates even more uh, power, I think, for our conference. You know, you look at the guys that are being drafted out of our conference. I think uh, two years ago we had more guys drafted out of this conference than the Big 12, and I think last year we were maybe one shy of that. So uh, talented talented players and uh, coaches that are doing a great job. And uh, I think each and every week we prove that uh, the Power Six is, uh, is a real deal and it's alive and well. I agree completely, of course. And you know, Coach, uh, you already mentioned that you got a short week here, a quick turnaround for your team as they head up to Philadelphia. Can you uh, talk about how that impacts your game planning when you got to do a quick turnaround like this? Yeah, it's, I mean it's extremely difficult, especially at a at a at a university like ours. I mean, uh, class around here is pretty difficult, and so uh, when you're starting to deal with schedules and everything else, uh, you know, we played Saturday night and. Uh, turn around because of our class schedules i mean we're practicing it we were on the field at 6 a.m this morning uh we'll get another practice uh tomorrow afternoon and then we're, we're loading on the plane and going so it's about getting your kids back number one you know uh coming off a tough game very physical game uh you got to get them back just physically and uh try to get their legs back under them you get bumps and bruises you got a guy a little bit banged up uh, it's going to be tough to get him back for this quick of a turnaround. And then just mentally, you know, what you have to go through from that standpoint. So uh, when you're trying to put in your game plan, trying to get all that, all of those things installed, uh, it's not about what we know as coaches. It's about what uh, we can get across to our guys and they can go out and execute. So uh, you got to do it in a hurry. you got to make sure that uh, you're on point with it. You don't have a lot of time to tweak and adjust. And so uh, you got to make sure that uh, you're giving your guys what you want and giving it to them early and giving them a chance to work through it. I appreciate it, Coach. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. We'll take our next question from Michael Zingrone from the Temple News. Please go ahead. Your line is open. 
Hi, Coach. Uh, thank you for your time. Um, so my question is, uh, the first two games, Frank Utah started at quarterback for Temple, and last game it was Anthony Russo. So just from looking at the film, do you see any major differences between how, uh, with how the offense is ran between those two quarterbacks? Well, I think obviously there's some things that they do that are that are similar, and I don't think all of us have got you know a couple of different guys um, working the quarterback spot. I think your base stuff um, is going to be what it is. Every quarterback brings a kind of a different skill set, a different mindset to it. Uh, you're obviously going to play to his strengths. We're preparing for both. Uh, you never know what you're going to get, and so we've got to make sure in this short time frame. Uh, that whatever we're plugging in, uh, we're going to make sure that it works for both. And then when as they are, are in and they, the changes happen, uh, you've got to understand what, what is their strengths, what do they do well, what are the negative things maybe that you can hopefully take advantage of and uh, work it from that standpoint. Thank you very much. I'm going to take one final question for Coach Montgomery, please. And we'll take our last question there from Leo Hagerty from It's Sports Magazine. Please go ahead. Your line is open. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. Coach, in your opinion, with all the cancellation of games due to weather issues, does the NCAA need to start the season a week early and then leave that last week before championship Saturday as a national makeup date? You know, I really I hadn't even thought of that that part of it to be completely honest. You know, the the tough thing about starting a week early is uh you know, when it, when are you going to allow fall camp to start? And you know, if you're bumping everything back a week uh, or starting in a week earlier, you know, you're getting into to July and some of those, that part of it, you're still dealing with a lot of summer school and things that are going on. I think there's a lot of factors that that kind of play into that question. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, I want to do what's best for, for football in general and, and for our conference. You know, the last couple of years it's been uh, pretty tough from a schedule standpoint with with some of the uh, weather issues that we've had. Um, you know, I don't know what the right answer is right now, uh, but uh, I think that's an interesting way to look at it. Thank you, Coach. Good luck Thursday. Thank you. Coach, thanks so much for the time today. I look forward to hearing from you once again next Monday.